You might feel a myriad of emotions when you see the title of this video, and it's understandable, but we need to dive into uh, the possibilities and why this could actually be a possibility when it comes to the launch of GTA 6. Welcome to Video Game Leaks, everybody. That's what we do. We cover video game leaks no matter how outlandish, how 4chan-esque, how tinfoil hat, or the ones that are pretty much confirmed. Do me a favor, make sure you're subscribed with the notifications on. Thank you uh, for all the support and growth on the channel. We are rocketing uh, towards 40,000 subscribers, which is really, really cool. So, Grand Theft Auto 6. Easily the most anticipated game in the world right now, which is pretty wild to think about because Summer Games Fest just happened and GTA 6 wasn't even mentioned. Despite being nowhere to be found on the biggest day of gaming news so far, it's arguably the most talked about upcoming game. We're making a video about it the day after Summer Games Fest, which tells you something right there. I mean, uh, Rockstar officially confirmed the game is in active development, which was the first time the studio has actually even acknowledged the game's existence. We all knew it was in development. Rockstar has stated that early plans for GTA 6 were in the works before GTA 5 even launched, which is a crazy, crazy thing to think about. But the official statement in February, it was a big deal. Now, looking at Rockstar's announcement and release history, it's safe to assume that the finished product should be in our hands rather soon. But I'm here to tell you, don't get too excited yet. There is a lot of information swirling around about where the game is, whether or not development is going smoothly, and what release window Rockstar and Take-Two Interactive are actually going to target for a release. Now today, we are going to break everything down and hopefully give you guys a clear, sharper image idea of what the situation is with GTA 6. Now, for starters, the game's expected release window seems to be getting further and further away. For a while, people were saying the game was going to be a surprise launch title for the PS5 and the Xbox Series X, but that didn't happen, so people reevaluated. For a while, the release window is expected to be in 2023 due to a report that came out about Take Two Interactive's budget layout. Now, a giant chunk of advertising money was being set aside for the publisher, and it seemed to indicate that the game was going to launch within the next two years, which that would put it around 2023, late 2023 or early 2024. Now this would also line up decently with Rockstar's quiet announcement of the game. I mean, the studio usually doesn't announce projects until they're within a two year release. So Rockstar works on each of their games for a long, long time. So even if rumors and leaks come out about their projects, they don't acknowledge them. I mean, not until they're coming up to the finish line. Assuming the studio still sticks to this strategy, Rockstar's statement back in February could be an indication that the game could be out in late 2023 or early 2024, and that's a best case scenario, okay? Unfortunately, some new information has come out that has basically destroyed the hope of anybody who believed that previous report, I'm so sorry, but we have to talk about it. In early June of 2022, this month, a report from Take-Two themselves started floating around the internet. It showed off all their expected game releases for already announced projects. Now, this report listed a massive roster of games that are yet to be released, and it confirmed all their games for the years 2023 through 2025. But guess what? No Grand Theft Auto 6. Now, apparently, that means Take-Two is not planning on releasing the game until 2026, which that would be a huge gut punch. This comes right from the horse's mouth, and it's hard to refute that, but here, here's something that could give you just a little hope. There was a list of titles announced to date games in Take-Two's upcoming library, but GTA 6 hasn't technically been announced the way that the other titles have. So, Rockstar simply confirmed that a 6 GTA game was in development on their website. No trailer, no logo, no teaser, nada. It's possible that Take-Two is trying to keep GTA 6 as blacked out as possible until it's absolutely ready. Meaning... They may be shrugging off the game's announcement and excluding it from that report. It's not law that they have to put it all on the report. If, if they have these loopholes of this, they can pretty much do what they want. Now, among the games were titles like Marvel's Midnight Suns, which we got an updated look at at Summer Games Fest, Kerbal Space Program 2, uh, all kinds of stuff, WWE 2K23, even a new version of the GTA Definitive Edition Trilogy. Hopefully this one works. There were some pretty big releases. They could explain the jump in Take-Two's marketing budget that was made public a while back, but I still think that it's possible that GTA 6 is coming in the next couple years. Now, with everything else we've heard about the game, it seems like the release window was getting closer, and I'm completely willing to believe that Take-Two intentionally left GTA 6 out of their upcoming release schedule simply because Rockstar 
hasn't officially formally announced it. Yes, they've said it. there's a title, or they said there's a game, but not officially. Rockstar does their best work when they're given the space and time. They need to completely realize their vision, and Take-Two knows this. GTA 6 is going to break every record. We know this, no matter what Rockstar puts out, but they're not the kind of studio that likes to cut corners. They know they're sitting with the literal, the, the biggest win in their lap. So all the gameplay reports we've heard about GTA 6 have been incredible. We've heard things like destructible environments, giant map, multiple giant maps, possibly even one huge super map that's three times the size of Los Santos. Gunplay seems to be refined on this. The game is reporting being built on a new version of Rockstar's in-house engine called the Rage 9 engine. A Rockstar Insider said the new engine is ahead of its time, will be capable of incredible things never seen in a GTA game. Now Grand Theft Auto V, it was incredibly detailed for its time. Remember, the game came out in 2013, so GTA 6... It naturally has humongous shoes to fill, but every report has stated the game is up to the task, which is promising. GTA 6 will be bigger, more beautiful, more detailed than ever before, while also fine-tuning the gameplay and making it tighter. Now let's talk about the technicalities. Despite the technical upgrade this game is going to get, some reports have compared it unfavorably to GTA 4. Now for those that don't remember or just weren't around at that time, GTA 4 was the first game in the series to be released on an HD console. It was criticized for being overly serious and overly realistic. It ditched a lot of the more ridiculous elements of Vice City and San Andreas. Now, it was an amazing game, but it was toned down from previous titles in the gameplay and the tone departments and reports are suggesting a similar thing is happening with GTA 6. Now, insiders have stated... The game will be more grounded, less comical than GTA 5. They've also said Rockstar is trying to make this one less offensive than previous installments in an attempt to generate less controversy upon release. I don't know if I buy that. I really, really don't. Now, despite Rockstar's big ambitions and endless resources, sources have claimed the game isn't in the best state right now, which could also explain the possible delay all the way to 2026. The game is going to be huge. GTA 5 is already a more difficult game for the consoles and PCs to run because of its density. Now, when you're following up a game that has a very demanding uh, drive to run with completely incredible experience that one-ups everything the last game did, you're going to have hiccups. According to all the leaks and rumors, the immense size of GTA 6 has pushed it back internally multiple times. Now, once again, we're dealing with leaks and rumors. We're dealing with alleged and speculated, okay? These are not confirmations, so remember to keep all that in mind as we go through. Now, just about every report this came out has agreed that the game is being built for the PS5 and Xbox Series X, not the PS4 and Xbox One. Those systems are going to be left to GTA history, and I think that's a good, good, smart move. If GTA 6 was being built for the last-gen consoles, we'd have problems. It would be seriously downgraded. Nobody wants that. Now, some reports have stated the game is going to be a time console exclusive on the PlayStation 5. That would be interesting. Now, given the fact that Microsoft has snatched up multiple upcoming open-world games away from PlayStation, Elder Scrolls 6, Starfield, New Fallout, anything like that, Sony needs to retaliate, right? Get some kind of exclusive open-world franchise of their own. GTA used to be a PlayStation console exclusive back in the PS2 days, but... I don't think that's going to happen, at least not permanently. Rockstar and Take-Two Interactive know how much GTA 6 is going to generate, and locking it to one console, that would hurt the game sales. They, they know they have the unicorn. They don't have to. There's millions and millions of Xbox and PlayStation owners who are going to buy this game day one. And, I mean, why would Take-Two restrict how many people can get their hands on the game? I don't think it is. Now, granted, reports are suggesting they are once again going to hold on to the PC version for about a year until after the console comes out, which... It's another weird Rockstar Studio tradition, but it is what it is. It means that the PS5 timed exclusive rumors, if they are true, the GTA 6 would effectively be a Sony exclusive game for however long that deal is. Six months, 12 months, I don't know. So looking at this scenario from Take-Two's perspective, I think it's a horrible idea. GTA 6 is going to sell like hotcakes. There's no way Take-Two limits how many platforms this game is on. There's no way. Now let's end this with the release window. It's becoming a mystery more day by day, even with the more uh, leaks we get. I mean, absence from Summer Games Fest, that was telling, especially when you consider that alongside the upcoming release port, I try to be optimistic. I think GTA 6 may uh, have been internally delayed back to 2026, though. I mean, while I do think the game was omitted from the release report simply because there hasn't been this large, super formal announcement, I also think it's very likely Rockstar needs that time regardless. Now, if you ask me... Rockstar was fully intent on releasing this game by early 2024 at the time they confirmed it back in February, but something happened internally that may have forced them back in the lab. Once they believed they were no longer hit that mark, 
They may have quietly uh, delayed the game, quietly removing themselves from Take-Two's upcoming release schedule. Now, that doesn't mean development can't speed back up at some point, push the release window ahead. I think Rockstar's shooting for a 2025 to 2026 release date, which will make it about four years for us right now. That would also put a 13-year gap between GTA 5 and GTA 6, which would have to be a record for the longest time between games in a franchise. So you guys let me know what you think about all this. Tell me what you think about GTA 6. Give me your best prediction for when it comes, and I hope, I hope we are just dead wrong with the 2026 speculation. I'll see you soon.